Welcome back folks to a brand new video. So you're flying into Paris for a city break, but it's left you feeling unfulfilled. But other parts of the country are filled with medieval towns and villages that will take you back to its ancient past. And I think you should visit during the early autumn to spring times to avoid the summers. So let's look at 10 stunning villages to visit in France. Number one, Ivoire. Now this is a medieval city built in the early 14th century, located on the French shore of Lake Geneva, between Geneva and Evian. So while small, the town of Ivoire is packed with history, known for its restored medieval homes and buildings. The town overlooks Lake Geneva, So you can walk around the town and stop by the remarkable Garden of the Five Senses, which is designed to please all five of your senses, such as the colourful and fragrant plants, where you can sometimes pluck the flowers and feel or taste them, if that's your thing. But while touring the town, you can also stop by Ivoire Castle, which was built during the 14th century. Or later on, head down to Lake Geneva for a super cold swim. So Ivoire is a bit of a pain to get to, but you can take a train from Paris to Geneva, which is just over three hours. You can then go via the ferry from Geneva to Ivoire, or you can take the bus. Number two, Balazouk, France. Now this is a stunning medieval village that's perched on a rocky promontory overlooking the Ardèche River. Now this village is characterized by its narrow cobblestone streets, its ancient golden stone houses and the medieval castle ruins. In fact, Balazouk has been recognized as one of the most beautiful villages in France. And I think it's due to its historic charm and of course, the scenic location. Now, one of the crowning jewels of Balazouk is its medieval castle, especially as it sits in a stunning location right above the village. And the castle's imposing ruins makes you imagine the lives of the nobles who once called it home. And from the ramparts, you'll gaze upon the Ardèche River which winds its way through the picturesque countryside below. So this is a great way to go deep into France and explore some villages that don't really get that much tourism. Number three, saint Emilion. Now just a short 40 minute train ride from Bordeaux you will find one of the best medieval towns in France, a stunning UNESCO listed hilltop town, which has a long tradition of winemaking, dating back all the way to the second century when Romans originally planted vines here. So probably the most famous monument of saint Emilion is the 12th century monolithic church, and its name suggests it's carved from stone. But while the church itself is well hidden in the rock, its bell tower is standing tall and can be seen from every spot in the town. If you're interested in architecture, the tower is a fascinating monument by itself. Number four, Vogue, France. Now this is another delightful village that's nestled right in the heart of the Ardèche region. A blend of rustic beauty and riverside charm. It's perched gracefully on the banks of the Ardèche river and it's a very picturesque escape that stands out for its individuality. 
wandering through the winding streets, you'll feel that authentic ambience of a rural French village. Traditional stone houses line the lanes, each with its own story to tell. Now, one of the distinctive features is its ancient bridge that spans the Ardèche River, connecting the villages to the surrounding countryside. The bridge's arches and views of the river add that unique element to your holiday. So it may not have a medieval castle like its neighbouring villages, but its simplicity and its unspoiled beauty are its trademarks. Number 5. God So this is a picturesque hilltop medieval French village that's located in the heart of Provence. In its early existence, Romans occupied the area, leaving behind columns, theatres and artefacts in the surrounding landscapes. But God is not a big destination, but quite a small yet charming place instead. So when you do visit, which is 55 minutes by car, or far longer if you're taking public transport, you can even see all of the village in a day. To be frank, God has nothing adventurous to do, but wanderlust is the thing that will be satisfied. You will fill your cameras with photos. So if you love discovering details and exploring off the peat and bath destinations, Gord can be the place you're looking for. Number 6. Dino Dino in Brittany is defined by its charming half-timbered houses. The town, which sits along the river, is how you would literally visualise a brother's grim fairy tale, slightly dark and steeped in history with hidden mysteries. So as I mentioned, the town stands on the river with its medieval walls dating back to the 11th century, surviving several attacks from the English. Therefore, many buildings today you will see date back several hundred years. But there's one picture of street which transports you from the top of the town to the port area along the river and it's easily one of the best places to visit in Brittany and if you are planning to visit the Brittany region the perfect base would be to stay in Dino. Number 7 Ez. Now this is a wonderful seaside commune in the Côte d'Azur region in southeastern France. So besides its many beaches, there are plenty of other places to see while in this medieval seaside town. For instance, the Nietzsche path is a really difficult trail that winds through the local cliffs and gives panoramic views of the sea. Now the distance is around 5 kilometers, and there's a sign at the bottom of the path at sea level that basically lets you know it can take about an hour and a half to complete uphill. So be warned, it is very steep. I'm talking sweat levels. But once you're there, there's also the botanical garden filled with exotic plants. And as I said, you get some wonderful panoramic views of the sea. Number 8. Charroux, France. Now, this is a medieval town with a rich past, and it's listed among the most beautiful villages of France. It reminds me of Ez in the south of France, and I've mentioned France four times in the first 10 seconds. And you will find ancient houses, a 12th century church, a bell tower clock tower, market halls with wooden pillars, 
residences with timber frames from the 14th century, and fortified doors and wells. So if you really like wandering through charming villages and finding small trinkets and artistic products, this is another place to head to, which is in central France. Number nine, Le Poète Laval. Le Poète Laval, a picturesque village in the southeastern region of France, where time seems to have stood still in the medieval era. No cars, no traffic, just a peaceful atmosphere. The cobbled side streets lined with old houses, a nice place for a stroll. It's full of charm and authenticity. So it's no surprise that it's listed as one of the most beautiful villages in France. Founded in the 12th century by the Order of Saint John, and back then a castle stood at the top of the village. But now a keep and ramparts are all that remain. So there's a hotel with a quite a decent restaurant and only an hour's ride from Valence which seemed like the easiest route to get there. Number 10, Mont Saint-Michel. Now this is indeed a medieval architectural marvel. It's a small rocky island located in Normandy, France, and is well known for its stunning abbey perched atop the island's highest point. The abbey, which dates back to the 8th century, is a prime example of medieval architecture and it's renowned for its Gothic design. The island and its abbey have a very rich history, once a strategic stronghold and a centre of medieval pilgrimage. So of course it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site today and a very popular tourist destination. But upon reflection, it reminds me of how amazing the past builders were, and what they may think of how the world looks today. And there you have it folks, those were some stunning villages for you to visit in the new year. Let me know if you do happen to visit one of these locations, I want to hear the stories and what you think. Try to avoid all the major cities this year and I will see you all on the next one.